Good morning. Welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. Don't worry, Patch is not dead. He's just sleeping. Isn't he so cute, though? You may be wondering why we have goats in this weird place when we've had them just in the barn or on pickets for so long. Well, we recently built them a pen. It wraps, so this is like by the coop. It wraps all the way from the coop around out to here. Then all the way it ends right there and goes into the barn. Okay, we have the way open for the ghost to go in their new place. They've been curious of what we're doing. Hey, goats! It's Penny, she's gonna be the first one. Tessa's the first one. What is this? So exciting. Oh my gosh, you guys love it. So now they have this huge wide space to be and enjoy whenever we don't pick at them. I'm planning this year to pick a whole bunch more greens for them and bring the greens to them instead of bringing them to the greens. In many ways it's a lot longer, but in many ways it's a lot easier. So we're going to see how we like that better this year. But today, as we were doing animal chores, we let the goats free range. The only thing at this time of year that we have to make sure they stay away from are up there is the orchard but it's like barren up there, nothing green growing. So it's been like two hours, I think, and they've just been staying like in the green areas. They've wandered around the whole like barnyard, backyard, side yard areas, but they haven't gone up to the orchard yet, so that's really good. But we're getting to about the point where we're gonna bring them back and we're gonna head inside and do some inside things. So we're done with chores now, pretty much. So we're gonna bring them back in. Today is also important because Millie and Patch so far have been separated from the rest of the herd. Patch has been too little to like be with them, especially because Millie's like low on the pecking order of the goat pecking order. I was kind of worried about her and Patch that, you know, the other goats will bully her. But today he's like a week, I think he's eight days old today. So we let them all free range together and the goats didn't seem to care at all. They accepted them just as regular members of the herd, so I was really happy about that. But then Patch came back here for a nap, and Millie decided to come with him. So we have these two out here. This is Patch's like first time ever being in this area in the pen on purpose, though. He got accidentally slipped through the wire yesterday and got stuck in here. And the other goats didn't hurt him or anything, so that's a lot of what led us to doing this earlier than like two weeks. We were originally going to do it at two weeks, but because he did so well when he accidentally got in here, we figured why not do it today. So we're going to first call in the other goats. Throughout this whole thing, we've been hand feeding them little bits of dried peas to get them used to like being touched when they're with us and teach them that coming with us is a good thing and not a bad thing. So if we ever had to grab any of the goats, like if they were heading up to the orchard, or something weird was happening and we needed to grab them, we could like bribe them. So let's see how this works. Hey goats! Hey goats! This is our special. Oh, Millie came. Hey goats! Hey goats! Good girls, good girls, good girls and boy. It still works. We've trained them that that call means food. All right, let's take off all their leashes now before they get tingled in each other too much. Another thing we have to do today, because Millie is going back with a herd, she's now not pregnant anymore. And though she just gave birth like a week ago, so I don't really think she's gonna go back in the heat in like the two hours we're not gonna be out here. We will have to put Keely's buck apron on so that he won't be able to breed her. So we're gonna shave Keely today, shave him down a little bit because he's very fluffy, much more fluffy than the other goats. So we'll shave him to normal goat hair size and then we'll put his apron on so that whenever Millie does go into heat, then he won't be able to breed her. So now all four adult goats plus one baby are together. They're not hurting Millie at all. They're not headbutting her. She's like the lowest. So they usually like push her around a little bit, but oh. 
Of course, now that I say that, here, it's okay, just let him figure it out. Oh, that's scary, I know. But he's sure old enough and fast enough to run away, so that's really good. Yeah. You gonna hide? That is not nice to do to your son, dude. Don't you remember being little? It was less than a year ago. It's okay. I know it's scary. You're a good mommy, though, making sure he's okay. That's so good. Well, look at the size difference between unpregnant Millie and pregnant Penny. That baby side. Look at that baby side. I don't have any treats. I'm sorry. Tessa just headbutted Millie. So we're getting back into the normal stuff. When they were out free ranging, they didn't seem to care at all. But I guess now that they're back in their home territory, they're a little more mean, which should be expected. And Millie's udder has continued to be lopsided. Today it's not super lopsided, but we still have had to milk out her sides until they were even. Pretty frequently. Oh, and in case you're wondering, we are not going to disbud him at all. We have chosen to keep our goats with their horns, so no disbudding to have to worry about for him. Okay, slight change of plans. We were going to shave Keely, but we still have a few more nights. I think... Tonight and tomorrow night is supposed to get down in the 30s, but then it's supposed to be really warm the rest of the week. The low was supposed to be like 60 or something, but we still have to put his apron on, so we'll just do it. We have the leftover buck aprons that we used for the baby bucks from last year, but the sizing we got was for little kids and not for like adult bucks, so we got a bigger size for him. Alright, we're ready for you. Let's get your leash. Okay, it's on. There you go, Bubba. Would you unlock it? We can just walk him with his new collar now. Come on, sir. Let's go. I know it's weird having this back on, huh? You've had it off for all winter. This way. Come see your ladies and your son. Yeah, what do you think? Back to normal. I'm sorry, we don't have any grain. No grain. Nope. Not allowed. Oh, you're feeling fur risky. Keely's chasing little Patch. Keely's all frisky today, I guess. That's not okay to do. Not okay. Oh, frisky with everybody, yeah. Everybody. <laughs> you can still see some of the aftermath. There's hair all over the ground over here. Here is the after. He looks so much smaller and younger. To me, he looks like a sheep, cause like we took his outer coat off, and so it's like the middle inner like hair. It's everything doesn't like this looks so sheep like, doesn't it? You look like a little sheep. You're not a Viking goat anymore. Before he looked all like flowing and hairy like a Viking goat. Now he just looks like a sheep goat. You're so little, Keely. And then let's say hi to our cutest little baby Pat. She's getting so big. In a few days, we're going to finally be able to uh, milk Millie and separate him from her. He's going to be so cute. Good job, Pat. Good job.